the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to crop this picture. Cropping means the picture has a lot of information, but I don't want the whole thing. I just want part of the image. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to crop our image. We're going to get rid of the parts of the image that we don't want. Okay. So the crop tool is the fifth one down. Click on it. So right there. Okay. The next thing is you need to enter the proportions of your crop. You need to tell it like what, how it needs to fit in the frame. So you're gonna go right here in this little drop down list and you're gonna click on fixed ratio. For our photographic paper that I made for you, the ratio that you need is three by two. What that means is that the paper is three units wide and two units tall. Okay, the next thing that you're going to do is draw a rectangle over the area of the picture that you want to keep. And then you click on the check mark and that will get rid of everything else. So that way you only have what you need. The next thing after you crop it is sharpen it. Before you sharpen it, you want to make a copy of it. That way if you mess up, you can go back to the original. So you're going to right click on your original and you're going to duplicate it. Then you are going to rename your layer so that you know what this is. So double click on the name and put the word sharp. So we're gonna go filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. These are all your controls. The main control that you really need is the one up here. And you want to sharpen it until it starts to look sharp and then you stop. You don't want to sharpen it too much. So just go ahead and drag it up a little bit and then stop and take a look at your picture. It should look a little sharper. Don't take it all the way to the right. You just want to move it to the right a little bit. And you just want to play with it until you like how it looks. You can play with the radius, but to be honest, you don't really have to. When you're finished, click OK. Now your image should look a little sharper. The next thing is to play with the brightness and the contrast. So you're going to go to the black and white circle, and you're going to go to brightness and contrast. It's going to bring up this dialog. You want to brighten your picture just a little bit or a lot, depending on your picture. But you always want to brighten it a little more than, than you think you need, because when you print it, it's going to look darker than, you, than what you see on the screen. You want to increase the contrast just a little bit, because it'll look good when you print it as a cyanotype. All right, when you are finished, click on Pro. The last step, the last two steps are to turn it black and white and into a negative. You're going to go back to the circle. You're going to go to black and white. And you're going to play with all these sliders until you're happy with how it looks. Um, my picture had a lot of yellow, so I'm going to play with that a little bit. And it had some red. Okay. When you're done, hit the word pro, and that makes it go away. Okay. The last editing step is to turn it into a negative. You're gonna go down here to the black and white circle and you're gonna go where it says invert. That turns it into a negative. Okay, now you are finished editing the image. The last thing you need to do is to save this so that you can turn it in. You're gonna go file export as JPG.